Hi there, Alec from Vacuum Spot. Today I'm just going to do a really quick video on a Miele S5311. Just going to show you where your bag and filters are to look for them and to be changed if you need to. Okay. So basically you've got a your hinge point at the front. Sorry, that's your opening latch, not your hinge point. Anyway, um, open that up there. Now this customer, uh, this one's suffering a bit of problems, but I'll talk about that on another video. This one here has using a generic bag. Now, I've got to be honest, on a Miele like this, I'd be using a genuine bag. This particular one uses a GN. If you're going to use a genu generic bag, make sure they are seated firmly in there and double check that when you put this down here, the latex becomes almost invisible. If you can see too much of the latex down there, that is going to mean that you're going to have dirt coming around the bag and collecting on this rear filter. Now, this filter just drops away, that's your cover, and all you need is just a standard bit of filter paper. If you're buying generic bags, pay particular attention to your filter. Okay, what you're likely going to see is that this will get dirtier quicker by using generic bags, so you're going to need to get some extra paper and keep an eye on that. If you end up with material like hair, fluff, lint, cotton, on this filter, you can clean it, but be aware, you can only do it one or two times and then you're actually letting too much go through to the motor. The other filter here is your Miele proper filter. This side should always stay clean. Always be looking on the underside here. If you end up with too much black uh, carbon-like material or if the um, filter gets blocked up with material like hair, cotton, lint, it means that something is going wrong here because you shouldn't get any chunky material on this part of the filter. If you're looking here and you've got something that is not just simple carbon, there's something else going wrong. So maybe you're not putting your bags in properly or maybe this filter isn't sitting in properly. So basically, make sure your filters are always sitting snug, just back in there like that. This one sits in square and this, you can see how this has actually been bowed because it's not a perfect fit for the actual machine. Put it in and just again make sure it's firm and close your lid. Those three things you need to check pretty often. If you're vacuuming once a week, I would check that once a month. If you're vacuuming every day, check it once a week another little pro tip from Alec at Vacuum Spot.